Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Queen Karen, And we're here with another editing tutorial. <laughs> yes, we're here with another tutorial for you guys. So friends, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your voiceover using CapCut. And I have a surprise for you guys in this video, so come closer. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to edit using other editing softwares and apps. So stay tuned, subscribe, turn on post notification and get ready because CapCut is not the only app. Trust me, there's more and more and more. Let's master this one for now. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your voiceover on CapCut for storytelling, blogs, voiceover and all that. And I'm also going to be teaching you guys how to create voiceover using AI. Yes, so some of you have been commenting under my videos and asking me how do I do AI voiceovers. But the truth about it is that I don't use AI. Yeah, that's just my voice. I am a voiceover artist, so I can mimic or turn my voice into something else. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's my voice. But I'm going to be showing you how you can use AI as a voiceover in your videos. You know all those videos that you don't usually see the text on the screen? But then you hear a voice, a particular male voice, yeah, at the background. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that using CapCuts. Okay, so let's go straight into editing. So for this video, I'm going to be using this video that I'm currently showing you guys on the screen for the voiceover. So in your voiceover for storytelling and the likes, first of all, you need to mute all your clips as you can see on the screen this clip is mute already so when you join different clips on your page on CapCut or you're ready to edit yeah after adding all your clips make sure you mute everything except there's a part where you want that sound to there's a way you can be doing a you know sharing a story people and then a particular part of the video can have a volume so what you want to do is you can just cut that part Let's say we want this part now to have noise, so it does increase the volume of this create. particular video. So people can hear this part, but they can't hear the many. Yeah, so that works for voiceover. But then, for this particular one, what we're going to be working on is how to actually create a proper voiceover. Go to your audio, scroll down, you see voiceover, click on it, hit record, three, two, one. Then we start recording what we want into our speaker. Now, the mistake people normally make in their voiceover is after you pause it, or most times people don't even take a break. They just keep talking and talking. No, you don't do that. That's not how to create a good voiceover. What you want to do is say the first sentence or the first storyline. Then don't start the next line from here. Start it from like a second can you see where this line, this white line is, right? Start the next voiceover, like some seconds before the end of the first voiceover, right here. Click it. Start from there. And start talking directly on that dot. Do you see that? Do you see that? When people listen to your voiceover or the stories you are telling, it will sink. There will be no dead air, no space. People are just going along the next one too as you see this long line it means nothing is being said there we're gonna split delete that part out we don't want any dead space this is what makes a perfect voiceover if you go to some of if you watch some of my sh youtube shorts or you watch some of my get ready with me come for a hair day listen to the way i speak you'll be able to tell that oh there's no space in this voiceover this is actually how to make the perfect voiceover Voiceover is not just clicking on voiceover and speaking. It's about the dead air, the space, the frequency at which you're telling a story that keeps people engaged. And also to get a clear voiceover, just like voice enhancement, but we're not going to be doing all that voice enhancement because honestly, I don't do that. Just select the voice, the voiceover for each one. You have to do this for each one. You can increase the volume for any part that you want. But scroll down to really make your voice over. That would make the audio very, very clear. No need of using enhanced voice. To be very honest, this is not so needed when you have this reduced noise. Trust me. I use that 
especially when you're using a mic or you're in a quiet environment reduce noise is perfect it's okay the second one we're going into is now how to add voiceover using all those voices you usually hear on tiktok and the rest how do people create voiceover using ai what you want to do is first of all if you have a script because be you know before you start shooting content you have to have a script of what you want to say what you want people what you want to tell people and so on and so forth when you have your script all you have to do is just come to text add text and type in that thing you want to say yes all that as long as the script is type it in as a text but let me just use like one sentence to illustrate let's say i want to say um welcome to my youtube um channel it's queen sorry like queen karen yeah so select that place it uh wherever part you want it to be by pressing on it and then drawing it dragging it to wherever you want it to be so let's just put it here for this part is a short text when you have your um script it will be easier for you to get this what you want to do now is as the text is selected not the video the text you want to click on text speech can you see that below text speech this is where the ai comes in do you see this male you can see male voices female voices so meaning that if you click on any of this the voice that you hear from any of this queen opera that's gonna be your voice over it will not be your own voice it will be the voice that's here character meme song english spanish you can see all that so just pick anyone let's pick this one or should we even use a female voice welcome to my, welcome YouTube, to my channel. youtube channel it's, it's queen, queen karen, karen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Queen Karen. Did you hear that? So, now, what next? This is how to actually create your voiceover using text, right? So, as you can see, when we clicked tick, it puts um, speed generated. So, right now, you see this? It's already generated. What you want to do now is go to the text, right? And delete it. But you see this green line under the video? Can you see the green line? Let's go back if you delete the text can you see the green line on that it's this means that the voice is still there despite the fact that the text is not on the screen the voice over welcome to my is youtube channel it's queen karen did you say that welcome to my youtube channel it's queen karen as simple as that this is how people add ai voices to their videos and there will not be text on the screen but if you want your text to show no problem but if you don't, this is another way to do it. Just delete the text on the screen. After adding it, adding a voice to it. I hope this was very clear, guys. Please leave your comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you. I hope you guys found this video very helpful. Remember to leave a comment down below on what you want to learn next, what you want to see on my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Love you guys.